Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars KOTOR 2 The Sith Lords. Last time, we explored the ruins of the Jedi Enclave and got our lightsaber back. Hooray! Well, technically we didn't get back, but we made it again. <laughs> Point is, we now have a lightsaber. Yay! And let's see what else has happened. Ah, uh, yes, we turned the handmaid into a Jedi Guardian. That's always good. We got some more influence with Mira, and I am practically almost ready to finish up the main quest line on Dantooine. I swear, Dantooine is short as hell. Seriously, how the fuck do I change that again? Ugh. I mean, it shouldn't be neutral. But whatever. First things first, though, I need to talk to Mira again. Yeah, something wrong. Uh, questions, Shoot. restless, too I'm quiet, Nor yeah. Shada. Well, Not so, a... uh, Chris, show me how to listen to Nor Shada once. Yeah, well, uh, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. Do I have enough influence to do this? Maybe one day I'll be able to show you. No thanks. All right then. Not yet. Because once I'm able to do that option, then I have enough influence to actually make her a Jedi. I forget what class she actually gets. Okay, handmaiden, hey, welcome aboard. You can now finally level up. Take that in with us as well, why not? And now I need to change out his sword again. Fuck, I forgot to change out his sword. Actually, since I'm now using a lightsaber... He can have my sword that I was using. Here you go, Atten. I'm here. Wow, only one skill point. Wow. Proficiency lightsaber, force jump, Jedi says Ichani Strike 2. Uh. Ooh, excuse me. This damage stacks with any unarmed specialist bonus damage. Oh boy! <sighs> Let's see, what do we do next? Well, dueling, of course. And powers, we want force deflection. And healing. The game recommends strength. Hmm. Let's get our constitution to 16. Right, force sensitive. I don't know if two and two weapon fighting works for unarmed attacks, but it doesn't matter considering I'm getting dueling. So I want her to actually be able to take a hit. In order to do that, we need a higher defense value. Do, 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 do. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's so many things that are restricted by armor, it drives me nuts. You know what? Recommended. Why not? Tree injury, that'll work. Alright, well... If I click, it recommends dual strike. Okay. Plus two bonus to hit an opponent that's attacking someone else. Huh. Interesting. Actually, regenerate vitality sounds more useful. Through force jump, who cares? Might as well give her a strength buff. 
powers. Destroy droid. No, recommends boost a burst of speed. That's stupid. Get that. Except Johnny Strike Three. I don't think there's higher versions of this. Um, I guess improve saving throws. Why not? It fits. Huh. Force barrier, why not? Powers, master healing. I forgot I- she's ten levels under everyone else. I forgot. Master Conditioning, plus three bonus all the saving throws. Prove Force Barrier, except... Do 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 Alright! Defense of 31. I have a defense of 37. That's mainly because of my armor. Holy shit. Which means I could actually replace those crack eh, Karakang gauntlets for something else. No description set. Okay, that's a bit weird. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have eh, anything good. Max is 30 bonus plus 2. Eh, that's not really gonna work. Problem is, there's nothing. There's no medium or light set. Lights. Wait, 5 5. Yeah. There's no way. That can actually figure out. Oh, I'll have to figure it out somehow. Oh well. Ready. Forget about it. Okay. Oh, that's taken care of. I can't take Bruno to Narshada. Just yet. But. I'm gonna take her with me. Because reasons. I may be able to gain some influence, I may not, by taking her with me when I go to sit rescue Brooke. And to do that, I need to head back to the Crystal Cave. Uh, did I ever ask you about Dantooine? Um, why the salvager's trouble? Well, the mercenaries hurt anyone? Okay. I'm trying to remember how the balls I got into this door. What did I tell you? Leave the door alone. Hey, buddy. How about you? Go piss off. What did I tell? How about you let me actually fix your? Sorry, this door is blocked off. How about you let me fix your goddamn base? Ever consider that? What did I? Fine, you cocksucker. Uh, 
<sighs> I think I can only fix the Kunda when I actually had to uh, mess with the main storyline. Son of a bitch. Alright. Ooh, excuse me. Let's deal with that. Ugh. I'm a little out of it. Mainly because, well... Apparently the Air Force Reserves decided to do some low flybys in the middle of the fuck in the middle of the night. Fucking assholes. I'm trying to sleep, you bastards. I can't sleep when you're flying helicopters and planes over my house. At fucking midnight of all places. Not remarkable to hide a pile of rubble in the cave. This hero was not present the last time you were here. Ah, so this is where the atmospheric sensors are. I forgot about that. They don't spawn unless you actually talk to them. Son of a bitch. How was I so stupid? And apparently the rubble's also restocked itself. That's nice. Well, not this one. Okay, handmaiden, it's time for you to test out your new abilities on a bunch of unsuspecting monsters. Okay. I'm assuming I don't kill it first. Well, it's time to go rescue Master Brook. I can't help but feel in the back of my mind I'm forgetting something. But for the life of me, I can't remember what, and I'm too stubborn to look it up. I don't think there's anything else for me back in the crystal section, but just in case. Let me check again, but I think I looted everything here the first time around. Unless there's another pile of rubble that has some more atmospheric sensors, but doesn't look like it. You found three broken atmospheric sensors. They pay a thousand credits apiece for them. He's probably still investigating soup bike wreckage on the Kunda Plains. Hmm. I better take care of that right now, otherwise I'd probably forget about it, or I miss an encounter or two, or something else. Asinine. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the wall. Hmm. I was technically faster to go through the mercenary section first, but let's not do that. Because when I do that, I will trigger an can it. I will trigger an event outside of this cave, and I don't want to trigger that just yet. <sighs> I miss having force speed. I miss being able. I miss being able to run at sonic speed. God damn it! Well, at least I'll be able to get three thousand credits out of this. Hey, buddy. I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. Actually, I found three of them. That's great news. While the steel stands, I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. No, it sounds like it's worth more to you than that. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them. There you go, I'll take the credits. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. That's an easy 1,000 credit bonus. Oh, I'm almost close to 20,000 again. Yay! Okay, now that that's out of the way. Let's actually head on back. Because it's time to rescue a stubborn old man. 
Whether or not he's actually here is a different story. Hmm. Do I really need this? Well, technically it gives me plus one to my defense, so yes. And there's Master Rook in a Force Cage. Let's quick save. Master Rook is a close enough force field, a prisoner of these mercenaries. He regards you without expression. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. So the mercenaries are branching on to kidnapping now? This isn't kidnapping, this is bounty hunting. This Jedi is worth a lot of credit, Sunar Shaddai, and we're collecting. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you wanna wind up dead. Leave now. Open the cage, let the Jedi out. What? That's a Jedi trick. We trained against that during the war. It's a Jedi, man. Kill him before he tries something else. Yeah, here's the thing. That's not gonna work out so well for you, mercenary captain. Well, at least I tried. You were saying? I hope you all had long fulfilling lives because you're just getting wrecked. And considering that the handmaid is just kicking your asses. Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Sekunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Always a pleasure, Rook. I see you still see you have your cheery disposition. Is this a joke to you? People's lives are at stake. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. Oh boy. Is this the same careful timing you were counting on in the Mandalorian Wars? Did you think rushing into battle against the Mandalorians did anything but bring more harm to the galaxy? It only served to bring about a second war more dangerous than the first. Countless Jedi died in both conflicts, and everyone who followed Revan and Malak died or returned to the dark side. Except conveniently you. Oh, come on. By the time the Council acted, the Republic would have been torn apart. Disobeying the Jedi Council brought about more destruction than the Mandalorian Wars ever could. Countless Jedi lost, the Republic broken. The Enough of this. This is not the time for such arguments. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the Exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Well, thanks, old man, you fucking asshole. Force mask and data pad mercenary orders. Data pad contains orders from Azkul to senior mercenary officers. Mercenary recently made a secret alliance to the exchange are playing an imminent attack on Kunda. With the minister Adari dead, then the exchange will be able to use Dantooine for illicit activities completely undertaken by the Republic. All preparations for the mercenary attack have been made, and they can attack Kunda at any moment. Well, we can't have that. Huh. Let's see. In terms of length, I think Dantooine is one of the shortest of the main plants that we have to go to. Oh, Sith Power Gauntlets. Can I actually use those? Yes, I can. Based on stolen error designs, I am this type, blah, blah, blah. I'll gladly take more damage. I now hit 25 to 46 damage with a plus 33 to hit. Feels good to do massive chunks of damage. Feels real good. Well, I guess it's time to deal with this. It's time to deal with the mercenaries.
You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Askul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. And what do you want with me? Straight to the point. I like that. I will be equally direct. I am planning to take Kunda, and you're going to help me. And why would I help you? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. I'm not interested. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. I cannot allow your plans to succeed. I applaud your conviction. A lesser person might have deceived these brutes to avoid battle. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. You just let your men to slaughter. Seriously, you just lay your men to be killed. Let's see what you got. I shall honor them in battle. Oh. I forgot how hard these guys hit, actually. Thankfully, though, we got healing. Let us test ourselves. Oh, crap. Well, that's a problem. They're all wielding double bladed fucking swords. Alright, we're gonna need more uh, manpower for this. Mira died practically immediately. Ready. What is it? So let's see if Kray and her force power. No way, I can't do that because she and Hamain have opposite reactions to that conversation. That's stu that's stupid of me. Ready. I hear you. Okay, now let's do with this crap again. And of course, I miss. More with that kind of stuff. Okay, this time let's save before we exit the cave. Are we cool? Is the air limit? This no, no, the limit. Blah blah blah. I lost my Sith gauntlets. I can guarantee. No, I didn't lose my Sith gauntlets. That's surprising. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that force mass do? Plus fill. Wow. For both good and ill, this mass provides the wearer some protection from the force. Minus four to wisdom and charisma. Wow, that is really, really bad. Actually, let's see. Beauty, stun, fear, and horror. There you go, handmaiden. And, and uh, technically doesn't need the stealth uh, uh, field enhancer. He needs something else. Targeting visor. Why not? Ooh, excuse me. Uh, 
Okay, let's quick save here this time. Ugh. Ugh. You are the... There. You... I applaud. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. I forgot that uh, double bladed lightsabers hit rather hard. Not double bladed lightsabers, double bladed sabers. Dual swords hurt, that's what I'm trying to say. Everyone down! That's a tough one, some of you are already dead, are you? Well, there goes that. More where that came from. And now it's back in the fight. Let's uh, pop this a couple times. Did you fuckers drop anything? No. You didn't. She has 300 health. I have 231. <laughs> oh my. And I'm the one with the highest fucking defense. Of course, that's probably because I can actually wear actual heavy armor. Alright, well, now we need to head back to Kunda and get the defenses ready for a mercenary attack. Which is gonna be easier said than done, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I should quick save again so I don't have to redo that fight, because fuck me. Oh, minefields. Looks like they're friendly minefields. And every non... Oh. This turret appears old and worn. Akira, you might want to actually leave because there's a... about to have a fight Sorry. go on. This door is blocked off. Sorry, this door is blocked off. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, lady, you might want to take cover. Because I got a feeling a lot of militiamen are going to die. Okay, let's talk to the administrator. Hello, dickhead. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him then. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. So, who knows about the attack? Right now, just ask the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. So, what can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I'll go check out Kunda's defenses then. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Sarah. Alright! Perfect. I got the Mastercard key. Which means I can now open these godforsaken security doors. Now maybe actually do the thing with the fucking Sultan outside. Except for this door. 
What about... Oh wait, this is the militia headquarters. Wrong room. This one. Alright, turret control station. Is there anything else? Ah, soup bike garage. Ah, takes me directly outside to the plains. Anyway, turret controls. Slice computer. Uh, turrets, turrets are active, set to attack friendlies and hostiles, pending base alert status. Change target priority. Only hostiles. Turret status. Log out. Okay, so the turrets are taken care of. That's a private door that we can't open, which is annoying me. Okay, let's check out the other side. Let's see, is this a private door? It is. This is a security door. Alright, what do we got in here? Looks like we got med bay. Medical droid. Battle damage inactive would take considerable effort to repair. Reactivate the droid. Reactivate the droid's automated healing subroutines. Alright, we got more militiamen ready for the fight. This door appears to be stuck closed. Oh, there's a lab station here. That's useful. Private door. Yeah, security door. Ah, we got droids. And a workbench. Perfect. We got droid control station. Leave it alone. Leave it alone for now. What does the terminal say? Slice the computer. Security camera. Defense status. Inactive. Change defense droids, target priority. Command failed, no active defense droids. Fair enough. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to let the dogs out. But at least it gave me the opportunity to refill my coffee. Reactivate the droids. Weaponry, targeting systems, shields. Modify. Ah. Whoops. What the hell? I'll try to reactivate the destroyer. You discovered a hydro spanner lost inside of it. The name Akira eh? is printed on the sandal of the tool. Evidence! Whew. I'm out of breath. Walking upstairs is hard. I finally got the piece of equipment I need to actually confront the Soliston. No, just enough repair parts for that. Alright, droids are up and running. Change target priority. Defend friendlies and attacking hostiles. Engage in patrol mode. Well, I'm actually engaged while base is on alert status. Got it. Okay then. This door is stuck. Don't know why we can't open it. But. Mira, come with me. We need to talk to the Sultan outside alone for a bit. Because the administrator was nice enough and nice of us to give us a point of no return. When I'm ready to deal with the mercenary attack. On Kunda, I just talked to Zarin. But until then, I have free reign to do what I want. I just have to deal with mines being around the place. Quick save. Is there anything I can do outside? There's no access port here for this turret, so I'm just control from the Kunda outpost. Yeah, let's not sabotage. After the work, we just put in to make them work. You know, I found this Hydra Spander. It has your name on it. Inside of a broken droid? What is your explanation for this? 
Dai, rinto runka ore kare papa nala ranchinga. Te rache we minuto to ore re sen sen. Tell me. Dai, rinto runto wa kare ko wa kare bu. Ninso telepachan ko sada rana ne gra gra da no nota choloren. Te re wana jun konata de la kuno tuna. Dai, rinto runka ore kare papa nala ranchinga. Te rache we minuto to ore re sen sen. Dai, rinto runto wa kare ko wa kare bu. Ninso telepachan ko sada rana ne gra gra da no nota choloren. Te re wana jun konata de la kuno tuna. Dai rinto runka ore kare papa nala ranchinga. Te rache we minuto to ore re sen sen. Hmm. Considering that Solsons don't normally lie, I have no reason why not to believe him. You know what? I believe you. Take these 500 credits to help. Dai rinto runto wa kare ko wa kare bu. Inso tele pachan ko sada rana ne gra gra da no nota choloren. Yay! We get discount as goods. It's not something you see every day. Guess they can't take the Jedi out of the exile, can they? Well, it could not help. Well, whatever. We better keep moving. Didn't mean to waste your time talking. Influence game with Mira! Excellent! Is this enough for us to go to Nar Shada? Yeah, something wrong? Alright. Yeah, more or less. Well, the it's oh wait, I need to do that conversation on the ship. Son of a bitch! Fetsakunda, the administrator is desperate for any agent to give against the upcoming mercenary attack. Anything you can do around Kunda will be greatly appreciated. Oh boy. To the Eben Hawk. Because I want to see if I'm ready to actually get, get her to accept the inevitable. No cutscenes, alright. Eventually, at a certain point, they just stop. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Restless. Too quiet. Narshada. How no, so? Yeah. Listen. One day I'll be able to show you. Maybe one day? I'll let you. Well, come with me and let me show you how cra much Kray showed me. Alright, but I doubt you're gonna show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tourist. It attracts predators. All right. Now, is the game just gonna let me leave Dantooine without uh, any repercussions at all? Let me quick save just in case I fuck this up. Because I never actually left a plant mid main quest. Skip all this crap. Apparently nothing popped up. So, apparently I can, I'm can. i free to leave whatever planet I choose. Good to know. I tend to not do that. Which tends to fuck me over when it comes to side missions. Yes, I need three characters. Blah, 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 blah. Mira, it's time for you to take your path to the Jedi. And to do that, we need to have you hear and listen to Nar Shada. I hope you're prepared, because this is a doozy. Now I just need to remember which part was it. Uh, was it over here? I know one of these sides was the correct one. What's wrong? Why are you stopping? Well, I want you to stand here and listen. I've been my here hundreds of times. There's nothing special about it. Well, this is the place where Kreia showed me, where you can feel Nar Shada around you, where you can feel the Force. No, I don't believe in the Force. It's Jedi tricks, sleight of hand. No, it's what you do and I can prove it. This I'd like to see. It's not gonna hurt, is it? No. But it may help you put life and all its hopes in perspective. Mira closes her eyes. Feel the currents here on Nar Shada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. Feel the currents here on Nar Shada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. 
this is the force, and all our choices from greatest to smallest affect each other, and the echoes travel. This is the force, and all our choices from the greatest to the smallest affect each other, and the echoes travel. Do not turn away, face it. I can feel this planet. I can't shut it out. It's louder now, it hurts. All these people. Well, you can learn to shut it out. There are Jedi techniques for calming the mind. But if, if I become a Jedi, I'll have to turn myself in for the credits. Well, if you become a Jedi, Mira, such things will concern you no longer. Are you gonna train me? Well, only if you want me to, Mira. I may have shown you the way, but I cannot force you down that path. I want to become like you. I want to be strong. I don't want to be afraid or alone anymore. I, I, I want to keep running and looking and never feel like I'm finding what I'm looking for. I am tired of being hunted. When the galaxy takes something from me, I want the power to let go. And I want the power to heal the echo when it's gone. Do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> One can live their whole life with such echoes, Mira, but I can teach you to accept them. That sounds alright, from where I'm standing. <laughs> Mira has taken her first steps on the path of a Jedi Sentinel. She'll grow in ability as she travels and learns from you. Do Alright, we're Max Light side. Maybe now I can actually talk to Prey and get this Force Crystal to actually accept me. Or the very least, change. Well, Mira's now a Sentinel. I'm good to go. Level up. And apparently she has access to all skills! Go figure. Feats! Alrighty then. First things first, though, let's give you mm. finesse lightsabers. And since you can actually use force powers, I'm going to give you force speed and force deflection. Attributes, dexterity, pop these. Powers, force redirection. Do, 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 do. Let's give you toughness so you don't die so fast. Night speed. And then let's give you Force uh, Valor. Master Speed. Attributes. Dexterity. Skills. Immunity to Stun. Very good. Prove Toughness, Knight Valor, Master Toughness, Master Valor, Powers, Let's give you Force Aura. Do, 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 do. Another feat. Let's give you. Let's give you Flurry. Force Shield. 
Sturdy. Du -du 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 -du. Force armor. All right. Now let's fix up your stuff. That is fine. Now, let's give you the gel shave or perception, perception gloves. Pheromone package, I guess. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We need to get some more lightsabers. That is a must. That's good. Alright, we're good for now. Since we don't have a bonus console lore, Mira's gonna be stuck using the majority of force powers out of the crew. Let's move out. Which is why she's wearing the circlet of Suresh. Do I have it? And... Baron Doe's Sage Robe. Let's see. Her defense is 27. If I give her this, drops down 26. So only one point difference, but... Her wisdom score shoots up. All right. Wait a minute. Can't I make lightsabers at the fucking workbench? I mean, I can make parts, but can I actually make lightsabers themselves? Create. That's melee upgrades. Parts, others? No, I can't make lightsabers directly. God damn it! Well, that's blows balls. Oh, since I'm here. I I wanted to say thanks for what you showed me on Narshada. It's gonna take some time to let it sink in, but thanks. I feel alive. That's not my doing, Mira. I merely showed you what you could do. It's strange, but it feels right somehow, like a piece inside me just clicked into place. Yeah, something wrong? This better not be any of that boring meditations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. I'll ignore that little crack next... I think I understand. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. Yeah, let's not force choke her. That's stupid. I'll ignore. I think. Yeah, something wrong. Yeah. I'll. Yeah, something. Yeah. I'll ign All right. Yeah, something. Yeah. I'll. Ign All right. Do 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 do. Yeah. I'll. All right. Yeah, something wrong. Yeah. All right. Yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, something. All right, that takes care of that. I also need to do this with the handmaiden, which I forgot to do. Yes. Oh wait a minute. Yes. You may. Huh. Apparently I can't teach her anymore, which is weird. Kreia, we need to talk. Yes. That crystal is... is that... That is that... Great. Yes. That is there some? Hmm. I don't know how I'm supposed. Do I need to actually put it inside of a lightsaber? Is that what I'm missing here? <sighs> 
Ugh. God damn it. Da, 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 da. Yes. That is it. That is there some. <sighs> yes. God damn it. <sighs> that is bugging the fucking shit out of me. I'm gonna have to look that up. God damn it. Well, let's head back to Dantooine. That's on the run. That's Citadel Station, that's Nar Shadda. It's one of the two green things on the fucking map. How hard can it be to find a single planet? Ugh. Alright. Scratchy scratch. Wrong way, doofus. Actually, before I do anything, let me uh, check out the workbench because I may be able to upgrade some armor. Okay, I only want to upgrade armor. Let's see who's wearing what. I can't upgrade the Baron Doe robe, which is annoying. That's only heavy armor, which is annoying. Ah, Handmaid doesn't have anything on her armor, that's why. Uh, armor. Let's see, we want bonded plates. Mark three. I'm gonna have to uh, put that up again. All right. Upgrade. What's mine? Bond plates mark two. I'll take the bond plates mark three. In exchange, I will give the handmade and the bond plates marked two. And God damn it! I fucked that up. Plates Mark II, by Restore of Underworld, Underlay Mark II. Okay, Mark III. Okay, that's good on the, uh... There we go. Okay, I'm out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I've been no got 21 this month for Star Wars, Kotor 2, the Sith Lords. Next time, we're gonna repel a mercenary attack on Kunda. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.